Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Catacombs of Paris. The Catacombs of Paris are underground ossuaries in Paris, France, which hold the remains of more than six million people in a small part of the ancient Mines of Paris tunnel network. Located south of the former city gate, Barrier d'Enfer, beneath Rue de la Tombe Issoire, the ossuary was founded when city officials had two simultaneous problems, a series of cave-ins beginning 1774, and overflowing cemeteries, particularly St. Innocent's, nightly processions of bones from 1786 to 1788 transferred remains from cemeteries to the reinforced tunnels, and more remains were added during later years. The underground cemetery became a tourist attraction on a small scale from the early 19th century, and has been open to the public on a regular basis since 1874, with surface access from a building at Place denfert Rochereau in the extreme southern part of the city of Paris. The catacombs are among the 14 City of Paris museums managed by Paris MUSE Acuties since January 1. 2013. The catacombs are known formally as Lausuaire Municipal Catacombs of Fishiels, and have been called the world's largest grave due to the number of remains buried. Although the ossuary comprises only a small section of the underground Carrières de Paris, Parisians presently often refer to the entire tunnel network as the catacombs. Paris's cemeteries Paris's earliest burial grounds were to the southern outskirts of the Roman era left bank city, in ruins after the Roman Empire's 5th century end and the ensuing Frankish invasions. Parisians eventually abandoned this settlement for the marshy right bank from the 4th century. The first known settlement there was on higher ground around a Saint Etienne church and burial ground, and urban expansion on the right bank began in earnest after other ecclesiastical landowners filled in the marshlands from the late 10th century. Thus, instead of burying its dead away from inhabited areas as usual, the Paris right bank settlement began with cemeteries near its center. The most central of these cemeteries, a burial ground around the 5th century Notre Dame des Bois Church, became the property of the St. Opportune Parish after the original church was demolished by the 9th century Norman invasions, when it became its own parish associated with the Church of the Saints Innocents from 1130. This burial ground filling the land between the present Rue Saint-Denis, Rue de la Ferronnerie, Rue de la Lingerie, and the Rue Berger, had become the city's principal cemetery. By the end of the same century, Saints Innocents was neighbor to the principal Parisian marketplace Les Halas, and already filled to overflowing. To make room for more burials, the long dead were exhumed and their bones packed into the roof and walls of Charnia, galleries built inside the cemetery walls. By the end of the 18th century, the central burial ground was a two-meter-high mound of earth filled with centuries of Parisian dead, plus the remains from the Hotel Dieu Hospital and the morgue. Other Parisian parishes had their own burial grounds, but the conditions in Les Innocents Cemetery were the worst. A series of ineffective decrees limiting the use of the cemetery did little to remedy the situation, and it was not until the late 18th century that it was decided to create three new large-scale suburban burial grounds on the outskirts of the city, and to condemn all existing parish cemeteries within city limits. The Future Ossuary, Paris's Former Mines much of the left bank area rests upon rich Lutetian limestone deposits. This stone built much of the city, but it was extracted in suburban locations away from any habitation. 
because of the post-12th century haphazard mining technique of digging wells down to the deposit and extracting it horizontally along the vein until depletion. Many of these mines were uncharted, and when depleted, often abandoned and forgotten. Paris had an exit suburbs many times over the centuries, and by the 18th century many of its arrondissements were or included previously mined territories. The undermined state of the left bank was known to architects as early as the early 17th century construction of the Val de Grace Hospital, but a series of mine cavens beginning 1774, with the collapse of a house along the Rue d'Enfer, caused King Louis XVI to name a commission to investigate the state of the Parisian underground. This resulted in the creation of the Inspection Générale des Carrières Service. Ossuary creation The need to eliminate Les Innocents gained urgency from May 30, 1780, when a basement wall in a property adjoining the cemetery collapsed under the weight of the mass grave behind it. The cemetery was closed to the public, and all interim Euros burials were forbidden after 1780. The problem of what to do with the remains crowding intramuros cemeteries was still unresolved. Mine consolidations were still occurring, and the underground around the site of the 1777 collapse that had initiated the project had already become a series of stone and masonry inspection passageways that reinforced the streets above. The mine renovation and cemetery closures were both issues within the jurisdiction of the police prefect police. Lieutenant General Alexandre Lenoir, who had been directly involved in the creation of a mine inspection service, Lenoir endorsed the idea of moving Parisian dead to the subterranean passageways that were renovated during 1782. After deciding to further renovate the Tombe Issoir passageways for their future role as an underground sepulchre. The idea became law during late 1785. A well within a walled property above one of the principal subterranean passageways was dug to receive Les Innocents unearthed remains, and the property itself was transformed into a sort of museum for all the headstones, sculptures, and other artifacts recuperated from the former cemetery, beginning from an opening ceremony on 7 April the same year, the route between Les Innocents and the Clos de la Tombe Issoir became a nightly procession of black cloth-covered wagons, carrying the millions of Parisian dead. It would take two years to empty the majority of Paris cemeteries, cemeteries whose remains were moved to the catacombs include Saint Innocent, Saint Etienne des Grès, Madeleine Cemetery, Irantis Cemetery, and Notre Dame des Blanchet Manteau. Renovation and Ossuary Decor The catacombs in their first years were a disorganized bone repository, but Louis Etienne Ericard de Thury, director of the Paris Mine Inspection Service from 1810, had renovations done that would transform the underground caverns into a visitable mausoleum. In addition to directing the stacking of skulls and femurs into the patterns seen in the catacombs today, he used the cemetery decorations he could find to complement the walls of bones. Also created was a room dedicated to the display of the various minerals found under Paris, and another showing various skeletal deformities found during the catacombs creation and renovation. He also added monumental tablets and archways bearing inscriptions that were warnings, descriptions, or other comments about the nature of the ossuary, and, for the safety of eventual visitors, it was walled from the rest of the Paris Left Bank already extensive underground tunnel network. Visits 
The catacombs of Paris became a curiosity for more privileged Parisians from their creation. An early visitor being the Count of Artois during 1787. Public visits began after its renovation into a proper ossuary and the 1814-1815 war. First allowed only a few times a year with the permission of an authorized mines inspector, but later more frequently and permitted by any mine overseer. A flow of visitors degraded the ossuary to a point where the permission-only rule was restored from 1830, and the catacombs were closed completely from 1833, because of church opposition, to exposing human remains to public display. Open again for four visits a year, from 1850. Public demand caused the government to allow monthly visits from 1867, by weekly visits on the first and third Saturday of each month from 1874, and weekly visits during the 1878, 1889 and 1900 World's Fair expositions. Later they opened for regular daily visits. After an incident of vandalism, the catacombs were closed to the public during September 2009 and reopened on 19 December of the same year. Other events in the catacombs Bodies of the dead from the riots in the Place de Grieve, the Hotel de Brienne, and Rue Meslier were put in the catacombs on 28 and 29 August 1788. The tomb of the Val de Grace hospital doorkeeper, Billy Bear lost in the catacombs during 1793 and found 11 years later, is located in the catacombs on the spot where his body was found. During 1871, communists killed a group of monarchists there. During World War II, Parisian members of the French resistance used the tunnel system. The Nazis established an underground bunker below Lycée et Montaigne, a high school in the 6th arrondissement. During 2004, police discovered a fully equipped movie theater in one of the caverns. It was equipped with a giant cinema screen, seats for the audience, projection equipment, film reels of recent thrillers and film noir classics, a fully stocked bar, and a complete restaurant with tables and chairs. The source of its electrical power and the identity of those responsible remain unknown. During 2014 Ghost Adventures presenter Zach Bagans featured in a special episode entitled Netherworld, Paris Catacombs without usual hosts Aaron Goodwin and Nick Roth while trying to learn more of the mysterious tape that contained the last known sighting of its owner and get in contact with the notorious cataphiles. During 2015, Airbnb paid €350,000 as part of a publicity stunt offering customers the chance to stay overnight in the catacombs. Disruption of surface structures Although the catacombs offered space to bury the dead, they presented disadvantages to building structures, because the catacombs are directly under the Paris streets. Large foundations cannot be built and cave-ins have destroyed buildings. For this reason, there are few tall buildings in this area. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.